Welcome back to Body Beautiful. I'm Janelle Marie with us today. We have plastic surgeon Dr. Joseph Mealy. We're talking about a couple different procedures today. Plastic surgery. Remember, any advice we give you today, consult your own physician first. All right, next up. I'm gonna try to say it. Bluff, blepharoplasty. Blepharoplasty. <laughs> Thank you. I, it's, it's a it's tongue twister. Day. It's a tongue twister, but <laughs> or I like it. You could say eyelid surgery. That's eyelid a, surgery. Eyelid lift. That's a little easier. All right. So why do eyelids sag? I mean, everybody gets that, you know, area above and also below too. Because, but yeah. I mean, do they always sag, or is it just the the, the way of the eyelids, person's they eye? They tend to sag because the skin loses some of its attachment to the mm -hmm. muscle underneath as oh, we age. Oh, I didn't know so that. So it kind of falls down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and if you tend, if you're born with a heavier brow or just less skin between the eyelashes and the the, the, the eyebrow itself, yeah, it's just easier when a little bit happens and it looks a little bit more tired. The lower lids is not so much the skin, it tends to be more of the fat. And more the fat, fat pads, under the eye? Yeah, the fat pads tend to push out and we see kind of a bag underneath the eyes. And Unfortunately, when people have bags under their eyes and heavy upper eyelids, we think they're tired or not paying yeah. attention because that's when we get tired, our attention. eyes swell and it kind of looks the same. So what, when do you know those bags under your eyes are ready for uh, shipping out? Well, if it's starting to, you know, it's starting to grab eye makeup, that's usually a good Oh, hint. yeah, that's uh, awful. The, the upper eyelid especially will run down and grab the eye makeup. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, and the lower lids, you know, we try and disguise it. Often there's a little bit of darker color on that lower lid, too. Yes. Uh, especially if you're Caucasian and there's a little bit of the, the blood vessels underneath tend to shine that mm -hmm. purple color through, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. which makes it look hollow anyway. And then when we get a bag there, the shadow just makes it even worse. So those Time are usually reasons why we're <laughs> repairing it. And sometimes with the upper eyelids, it's down low enough that it's blocking vision. Exactly. So you can't see up well or to the sides as well. And you can actually see some people with the skin hanging over the eyes. Yeah, it'll the hang over their eyelashes. Oh. And once it starts resting on the eyelashes, it feels kind of heavy. It feels uncomfortable. Their time to go. Yeah. All right, uh, let's see um, a one before and after pick while I ask you, how do you do the surgery, eyelid surgery? So the upper eyelid surgery, it's all about taking away that extra skin. Mm -hmm. So there are fat pads in the upper eyelid. The medial fat pad, the one closest to the nose, mm -hmm. often will remove some fat there. There's okay. also one kind of in the middle, and it just depends on if we can see a bulge from that. On the outside of the upper lid is where the lacrimal gland is, the tear gland, that we don't want to remove, but sometimes it hangs down under the, from below yeah. the bone, and we'll just sort of push it back up where it's hidden. I don't see any um, scars so, here. Well, in Where this case, they? you can see that before the eye, the skin is resting around the yeah. eyelashes. Afterwards, it's elevated. You can see some space between the eyelashes and the fold above the eyes. And um, so is that where you put the scar so in the, the scar fold? is hidden right there. So when the Jeez. eyes are open, you really can't see it. There is an extension that will go off to the sides mm -hmm. that kind of goes up along the direction of the smile lines. And that's to get rid of the hanging on the sides. Here's picture number two. And just yeah. let me know the recovery also time after this. So this patient, too, had the extra skin in the upper eyelids. I can see um, that, The inner yeah. part looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. So the outer part needs to match and sort of get it off the eyelashes, especially on her right side. And asymmetry is always there. It's very mm -hmm. difficult to get things perfect, but we should make it better, not worse. It does look great. So it helps. Recovery is mostly about the bruising and swelling. Okay. So it's not a painful operation. Most okay. people get by with Tylenol, not, not needing anything really narcotics. General anesthesia? Uh, general anesthesia or local. I do it okay. under local with sedation. So this, this lady is a lower blepharoplasty. So the lower eyelid has oh, a lot of fullness. Lowers. And oh, yeah. you can see the shadowing there. Afterwards, it's smooth. I uh, don't want to remove all of the fat. There are three fat pads down there. If you remove all the fat, it kind of hollows out the eye, which makes yeah, people yeah, yeah. look older. Yeah. Not the plan. You want them to look younger. So you want to take out just enough, but not too much. So if you do that and it does get a little hollow, can you put filler in to you can, but that? it's just better not to. It's better not that. to even. Yeah, worry I would about rather that. accidentally leave a little bit more than take out too much because you can gotcha. always take a little bit more out. Last pick. And then sometimes what we'll do is we'll take some of the fat from the lower lid and actually bring it yeah, down into look. the fold so that it looks Jeez, smoother. That so looks really good. Taking out all the fat sometimes isn't the right answer either. So I'll take out some of the fat, move some of the fat down to smooth out the lid and the upper lids that too. Is so subtle. Yeah, I mean, she looked good before. Yeah, exactly. She has space between her lashes and her fold. She has more space now. She has fullness. Looks really good. It's a little hard to see the bags under the eye from the front with the flash. It yeah. kind of flattens it out. Very um, nice. It makes a nice change, and it should look like them. And if it improves your vision, you Even know, that's better. all the better. All right. And I've had people tell me, oh, I look the same, and that makes me feel happy because yeah. they still look like themselves. They, they look natural. And we can always look at the before and after pictures and see what actually happened. Look, you still look like I yourself. Think forgetting some of that is part of the cure, too. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, for more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925 943 6353 or check him out on the web at either drmealy.com or sanfranciscobreast.com. Lots more to talk about plastic surgery with Dr. Joseph Mealy. When we come back, keep it right here on Body Beautiful.